Today I'm showing you a short preview of something I'm working on that is developed in Lua and it will allow you to prepare your flight and load it into the Zebo FMC. So as I said, at the moment this is a prototype, but the file that you're looking at now is just a simple Windows text file uh, containing information on the flight that I'm going to do today, and that is from Rhodes, sorry, from Birmingham to Rhodes. So just looking at the top few lines there, and we'll just quickly go over the file format. So anything that says notes is just ignored by the program itself so they're not loaded into the FMC. Going down to the flight number, company route and departure runway, you can probably see how that relates to the FMC page, uh, or particularly the route page. Moving down then we've got things such as the zero fuel weight, reserves, cost index and cruise altitude and they are of course going to be entered onto the performance initialization page. I've then just got some further notes that help me kind of follow the flow as we load data into the FMC and come down to the N1 limit page where we'll enter the outside air temperature 11 degrees assume temperature of 41. I've just got some further notes where it says climb 1 and 2 etc I need to think about how I'm going to enter that into the FMC. For the takeoff page I'm using a flat 5 departure and I've just got a note there that uh, the script will go ahead and get the center of gravity by just pressing the relevant line select key. And then we come down, we've got a V1 uh, of 143, etc. They're our speeds. Um, finally moving down, again, these are just some development notes for, for my benefit. But uh, the MCP heading is important and you'll see that uh, as we go through. Of course, that's not an FMC setting, but I'll show you how that's set. The FMC file name has the ICAO names in there as well, so you can see next to the word FMC, it says EGBB LGRP, and that's so that I can have several of these files prepared in advance, um, and I'll show you how we choose which file when we get to the aircraft. Alright, so really this is just based on the idea that I would normally go in and record all this information somewhere anyway. And I had the idea that what I'd like to be able to do in X-Plane, was one thing that I tend to find um, not all aircraft allow you to do in X-Plane, is to load a safe flight. So this won't allow you to, say, save your flight when you're two hours into the, to the flight, but what it will do is allow you to plan your flight before. Uh, you go flying and then it will allow you to load this into the FMC. So we'll show you now how this works. So to run the script I enter the departure ICAO code and that's in line 1 or left 1 and then I enter the arrival ICAO code and that's in line uh, right 1. I'm then going to start the script now. So when the script begins it will look for the file name containing the EGBB LGRP in this case and when it finds it the FMC will give us a message valid FMC file. After a few seconds I've of course slowed this down for the purposes of this demonstration but it will then fill out the flight number, company route and runway. So just in regards to the company route, what we're not doing is replacing the company route. We're actually providing the value there that you would normally type in. So I've got a route in the FMS folder called EGBB LGRP01. And then the script moves on to the other pages, entering the relevant data as it goes through each FMC page. You can see now the script is just setting the heading, so it's going to set that to 333 and I just missed off the video where it also set the speed to 149. So I of course plan to set the altitude as well. Let me know what you think. I'm adding bits to this as I go along, I'm always getting uh, different ideas. 
at the moment you have to go back to the departures and arrivals page and enter in the SID. Thanks a lot for viewing, I'll catch you later, bye bye.